Hello, Sixto. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Shanique. She sent your website over to me for analysis. And the first thing I am going to say is you have a beautiful website. You clearly paid some money to have it done. Uh, I, I am very impressed by it, uh, and you should be also. Um, and uh, here's the thing. A beautiful website like this is kind of like a newly painted car. You pull up to your friend's house. You say, want to go for a ride? They say, yeah. And you say, jump on in. And they go, okay. So this is what you have, a beautifully painted car. And once somebody gets here, they're going to want to jump in. Absolutely. But what I can tell you is, is that your, <laughs> your site is underperforming. And I am going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you the numbers and the figures and how I got there. Uh, because you spent money on this to have it be something that got you customers and got you uh, income. And uh, if it's not doing that, then it's just a bunch of letters on the bottom of your business card. Now, the first thing I do after looking at the site itself is I go here and look at this paid tool that I have. It's called Ahrefs. It gives me the metrics of your site, and it also gives me uh, how it's been performing. Uh, now, the next thing I do is I do a Google search because, well, uh, everybody gets to your site through Google, by and large. Uh, Google is the gorilla in the search industry, and when the gorilla wants to dance, you dance. So what I'm going to tell you is how the gorilla wants you to dance now at this point. Um, Google has an algorithm that, oh, that sounds really dull, doesn't it? Uh, I, I promise I won't put you to sleep. Well, I can't promise I won't put you to sleep, but I'll promise not to geek out on this too much. But Google has an algorithm that determines the placement of absolutely everything on the website. Uh, and uh, the algorithm is looking for certain things that it thinks will make the search results more relevant for their search customers. Now, I assume that you use Google, and I know I do, uh, and you know how you use it. So keep your, you know, Keep your mind on how you use it when we're when I'm showing you this stuff. Um, and uh, the algorithm is looking, for, as I said, for certain things. And those certain things for relevancy are not what you and I might consider relevant. For instance, I'm going to show you this really briefly. Um, if I make that click, I can sort all of these results by relevancy or by distance. And here we go. If it will come up, let's see. <laughs> Computers, can't live with them, can't live with them. Come on, there we go. Relevance and distance. Those are the two options you have for a Google search. Now, relevancy to you and me might be different because I would think that relevancy would have to do with somebody's work ethic and the, the, how good their materials are. But relevancy to Google is unsurprisingly that you have a good website. So uh, with that in mind, the first thing that you're going to see in a Google search are these. These are the paid, the sponsored listings. Uh, those folks paid to get up there. And a lot of folks look at those sort of dubiously because uh, if, if they think to themselves, why would you need to pay to be on a list of who's best? If you're not the best, then that means you have to pay. But Google is not a list of the best. That's the thing. People do not understand that. So, uh, and, you know, and we can't educate them uh, and Google certainly won't. So, you know, we do our best to make sure that we play within the Google rules and, and use that algorithm to our own benefit. Now, underneath those are what we call the map pack. These folks are folks who have done something that the folks down below have not done, and that is they have filled out a Google business profile. Now, a Google business profile is like your regular Facebook profile, um, and uh, except it asks things like what year you started your business. Uh, it asks what your daily hours are, stuff like that. Now, uh, those are... Uh, good things to have because being up near the top of a Google search is better than not. Obviously, think about your own usage. How far down do you scroll before you stop and say, I probably have everything I need above that? Now, uh, most people do not scroll below the related searches. That's what uh, our you know, uh, uh, industry has told us. And uh, I do not see you in the top page. No. Nope. And uh, I don't see you close to the second page. And that has a real money downside. I mean, there's truly a losing uh, a benefit to that. So 
let me show you. These are what we call the organic search results. These are wholly the result of the Google algorithm. The first one is Better Business Bureau. The next one is Legacy Roofing, which is a, the 10 best roofers. I don't know what they are. Uh, maybe they're a general contractor. I don't know. Yelp. And then finally, the first general contractor I find is Madison Roofing. Now I'm going to show you their site. And I'm going to refer to them as your Google competitor for the uh, duration of this analysis because it's important to see how you stack up against who is number one in the Google search results, essentially. I mean, after the list, they are number one. Now, uh, I'm going to show you this real fast. This is your website. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste it into this word counter. Uh, here we go. You have 429 words. That's pretty good. And I'm going to do the same for Boise Madison Roofer. Copy and here we go. Select all and paste. 333 words. Now, if you're an algorithm, you generally will choose the largest number. And you guys are relatively close in that. So there's not that much of a competition. But I mean, it's, you know, what, less than 100. Uh, uh, but here's the deal. Google wants you to have 1,500 words on your homepage. And that's not a lie. They want that there because they want to provide the most relevant search results to their search customers. And they think that if a company will put that much effort, then they're going to be able to inform their search customers when they get to that site. That's their thinking around that. So they want you to educate the people who come to your site. That's why they want 1,500 words. Now, uh, all words are not the same. So let me show you that. 1,500 sounds like a, not a lot, but it's not. And all the words that you want on your website are what we call keywords. Currently, you have zero, which is not a good thing. Uh, 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 but I'm not, it's not like I'm making fun of you at all. It's just that these are the words of your industry. These are the words that you use all the time that I never use, like soffit or, or uh, I don't know, gutters. I just, you know, they're not part of my daily life. So I never use those words. Those words should be in your site. And Google has an expectation they will be in your site because when I do this search, it takes every single website that appears below this, strips out all the words, counts them in the blink of an eye, and then it says this one appeared the most. This is keyword number one, and then number two, and number three, and so on. Now, those become little key phrases, if you will. So uh, here we go. I'm going to show you what you have once again. You have zero keywords, and Madison has 125. So that is not that much to catch up on, really, in the big scope of things. I think you could do that regular rather easily, to be honest. Um, and forgive me if you hear dogs barking in the background. Someone has released the hounds in the area, and I don't know what to do about it. So uh, now the next thing I'm going to show you is their actual keywords. Roofing, Boise, uh, Madison Roofing, uh, of course, their own name. Uh, roofers, Boise, uh, Roofing Company, uh, and generally there's Roofing Companies, too. These are actual Google searches. Now, a lot of them are very uh, similar to one another. Uh, sometimes they are will have things like, you know, a broken ice dam in the winter. You'll see that come up. Boise Metal Roofing, uh, Roofers Boise. Uh, roofers and roofing are different because the algorithm does not know the different tenses of words. It does not know singular and plural. All it knows is that it's looking for a word, and if it doesn't appear, then it's not going to be there. Let me show you what I'm talking about really fast. Back to your site, I'm going to do a, a, a search. I'm going to find the word best, and it is not found. So that means that you do not have on your homepage that you are the best roofer in Boise. So if somebody types that into a Google search, Guess who won't come up? That's right, you, because you don't have it on your website. And Google does not fact check this stuff. I assume that you think you're the best, and you should. So uh, uh, why isn't it on your website? Real simple. Uh, now, uh, let me show you the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about uh, is your backlinks. You have 10 backlinks, which is pretty good, uh, considering uh, what you don't have on your site. Now, a backlink is where you appear on a different site, and there is a link back to your site on it. So for instance, Yelp is one. I'm going to show you what Madison has. They have 424. That's a pretty big amount to have to catch up on, but it's not impossible at all. And part of the reason is, is because uh, these folks, let me see if I can click here again. 
they have way more backlinks than they should because the referring domains means they should have about double that. So what, about 144? But, uh, uh, so a bunch of these are just spam backlinks and the algorithm knows the difference. Here are their backlinks. You want ones in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Yellowpages.com, superpages.com. Angie's list is not there. I know that because Angie's is rated at a 91. These are the ratings of the site based upon how many people refer to it. A backlink profile is what they call it. The domain rating shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile. You have the same sort of uh, domain rating on your site too. Yours is zero. Madison's is 17. Zero isn't bad. To, I mean, it, it's not great, but I mean, I've seen ones that are just one or two, and that's fine. That's something. Uh, now, here uh, again are the domains that they have. These are the ones that you want to get on, and the ones down here, the bigfreezefestival.com, Australia, are not, people are not going to be finding their roofers in Boise on that site. So, why it's there, I don't know, but it's one of those spam sites I was telling you about. You can beat them because they don't have that many in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. This is relatively easy to do. Now, this is where uh, the rubber meets the road. They are the number one contractor in the list of contractors in a Google search. Now, you had last month, as a result of a Google search, zero clicks. Nobody came to you as a result of a Google search. And that's a shame because you spent money on that website and you had hopes for that website. Here's what Madison had. They had 318 clicks. Now that is 318 times more opportunity for them to uh, get an estimate request, for them to get a potential customer, and them to get money in their pocket. That's the bottom line. These websites should be putting money in your pocket. You spent the money on them. It's not a novelty anymore. So let's make them work for you. Now, uh, I can tell you that you can do all these things yourself. It's not a lie. You could if you wanted to, but uh, I'm going to guess that you would rather spend your time roofing than uh, uh, digging around in the belly of your website because what I'm suggesting you do, the three things I'm suggesting you do, the uh, Google business profile, the uh, keywords, and the backlinks are time-consuming. Those are things that take a fair amount of time, expertise, and experience to do correctly because Google wants real uh, uh, thoroughness when it does those. Uh, and that's where I think Eric, uh, excuse me, that's where I think Shanique might be able to come in and give you a hand. Uh, uh, thank you so much for watching and you have a great rest of your day.